One of the things you should always do when you're setting up your content types is create the pattern that the URLs will be presented to the user. I'm on one of our fake content items, which is an event, and the URL is node slash 127 because it's the 127th node I've created. Well, that's not very user friendly. So what we want to do then is set up a pattern for our URLs that'll be human friendly. And to do that, we need two modules, path auto and token. Head over to drupal.org slash project slash path auto. Go ahead and right click on the zip file and copy the link. Come back over to your site, click on extend and install new module paste that URL in, and just like that, Path Auto is installed. Head back over to drupal.org slash project slash Path Auto, scroll back up, and you'll see that Path Auto requires both token and C tools, so we'll need to get both of those. Click on token, copy the link location, click install another module, paste that link in, and click install. And one more time, Head back over to drupal.org slash project. This time, go to project slash ctools. Scroll down and go ahead and grab the Drupal 8 version. And go ahead and install that. All right, let's head back over and enable our newly added modules. Get rid of core, go ahead and turn both chaos tools on. Scroll down and find path auto and token. Go ahead and enable those. Click install. So once again, while this is installing, what path auto does for us is it sets up human friendly URLs with patterns that all of our nodes will be auto generated with as we go. All right, scroll back down, find path auto, click on the caret, and then click configure. Have list, patterns, settings, bulk generate, and delete aliases. Let's set up our patterns first. Click add path auto pattern. Pattern type is content. And let's set up our event content type first. event slash and then we'll insert the node title click on browse available tokens click on nodes scroll down and find node title click on it and it will automatically be inserted in the field we need to choose the content type of events and give it the label called events and this is just a short name to help us identify. Go ahead and click Save. Let's add one for user groups. Click Add Path Auto Pattern. Select Content. User dash group slash. And again, you can just type this in. Square bracket node colon title. This is going to be for user groups. And we'll call this user groups. Click Save. So we have two here. We could continue on, do one for basic page, and do one for articles. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on Add Path Auto Pattern. Select the pattern type of content. And for our purposes, let's say all the pages are just general information. So we'll change this to general slash node colon title. And this is for all basic pages. Put pages in the label and click Save. Let's finish this out. We'll do it for articles. And as I'm clicking here, you'll notice we can do this for taxonomy terms, users, and the form content type as well. Click on Content. Let's do Article. That's not very imaginative, I know. Choose the Article content type and put the Articles label in and click Save. All right, so we have articles, events, pages, and user groups. Now, just as a reminder, we've already used Devel to generate a ton of content here. 
so we need to delete the current aliases because all of them are wrong. We'll go ahead and click Delete All Content Aliases and only delete automatically generated aliases. This prevents us from deleting an alias that might have been set up by an actual content editor. Click Delete Aliases now. And then go to Bulk Generate and choose Content and click Update. This is going to update all the aliases for all of our nodes. So now click on List and here are all of the aliases that we've created with the system link and the alias that our users will see. Now one thing to notice when you click on List, at least right now in Drupal, the tabs at the top disappear so you can do a couple of things to get back to that. You can either assign it to a shortcut, which I have done here, by checking off the star, or you can just quickly go back, manage, extend, all the way down to path auto, and get to the configuration from there. So path auto, making human-friendly URLs on your Drupal site.